What I can confirm on record is that on the 2nd of November, a letter was sent to Mr. Motwening via email by my colleagues acting on behalf of Mr. Mtembu, in which they made certain demands. Notably, they asked him to issue an apology, supposedly on, on, on the basis that he said certain statements that they regard as defamatory. In the self-same letter, they said that apology must be forthcoming by no later than 9 o'clock on the 4th of November. That date has come and gone. And today on the 17th of November, we hear through the media that there is a lawsuit that has been uh, launched against Mr. Motweni, which we respect. But in terms of the rule of law and normal court processes, when an action is instituted against you, you typically receive a letter of demand, which you may or may not agree with its contents. The next step then would be a summons to be issued by a court with a court stamp and a case number. Thereafter, that summons then gets sent to a messenger of court. In some instances, they are called the sheriffs, who then deliver it to the person who is supposedly being sued. Now, once that person receives the documents having been delivered by the messenger of court, the litigation that is being referred to starts at that particular point in time. I confirmed with Mr. Motwening whether or not he has received the summons that the media is raving about, even talking about the quantum, which is a million rands. Now, it may well be true that that summons is floating somewhere in the air, but in terms of the court processes, it will be delivered to Mr. Motwening at his residence or place of employment and given to anyone above the age of 18 years old. When he receives that summons, he will then give it to me so that I can peruse and see what is the basis of the claim. And then we will then indicate our intention to defend and subsequently file our basis of defense, which is called a plea. That has not happened. I must also hasten to add that, you see, we live in a constitutional democracy that is underpinned by the rule of law. I specifically said to my client, that Dr. Motwini, stay away from the media on this issue. Because as his lawyer and legal advisor, it is my considered view that no amount of public grandstanding on either party's side will assist the process. One party is elected to take this matter to the courts. We must respect our courts and allow the courts to do what it has to do, namely to adjudicate over this dispute. So it does not help to fan this public uh, court of opinion with things that have not even been entertained by the courts. I, I also find it very interesting that uh, the spokesperson of Datem Tembu is a, a parliamentary officer. And he says that uh, this issue has got nothing to do with parliamentary processes. In fact, it's a personal matter. And I just wondered then why does it become a matter of interest? Because these are the kind of things that may fuel perceptions. After losing